It's not long until the hoops are back in action, as we will have the chance to create some daylight between us and the Rangers on Saturday, as we take on St Mirren. In today's video we'll discuss all the latest Celtic news, that includes Simon Jordan blasting Rangers and Kieran Tierney talking about a potential Celtic return. There is so much to cover in today's video. And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Before we do get into today's video, as always, make sure you do drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Celtic content. When it comes to academy stars Celtic have created, Kieran Tierney is right up there. Working his way through the ranks to become a first team star and an invincible treble winner. Despite high hopes from supporters that he'd be a lifelong Celtic player, much like a Callum McGregor or a James Forrest, Tierney took a different path. In 2019, he made a money-spinning move to Arsenal for a record-breaking £25 million, setting a new benchmark for Scottish football transfers. While Tierney's journey at Arsenal has been a roller coaster, with initial expectations of him becoming a future captain, his trajectory took a turn as he found himself out of Mikel Arteta's preferred lineup, leading to his loan to Real Sociedad. When he has been fit in Spain, he has earned rave reviews, but injuries have blighted his spell. The bond between Tierney and Celtic seems unbreakable. Nearly five years post-departure, whispers of his return to Parkhead are never too far from the surface, especially with Brendan Rodgers' comeback stirring more speculation. Tierney himself has not done anything to call the rumours, hinting at a possible reunion with Celtic somewhere down the road. In a conversation with TalkSport Live, Tierney was asked about a potential return, the Arsenal loanee replying, who knows? You never know in football, it's a connection that I will always have, and it's somewhere I will imagine I will always be linked with, if I were to move from any club, so you never know. The prospect of Tierney donning the Celtic jersey again is appealing, but the money it would take for his return coupled with injury history, and it becomes less so. At just 26 years old, he remains a sought-after talent, capable of making waves in one of Europe's top leagues if he can stay fit. Simon Jordan recently shared his thoughts on Rangers' response to another game postponement against Dundee, criticising the Ibrox club for their strong remarks. Jordan brought Celtic and the recent Glasgow derby into argument, claiming Rangers should have played the game last week before the Ibrox clash with the Hoops. The Rangers had expressed frustration when their match at Dens Park was delayed again due to a waterlogged pitch, the fifth time Dundee's home games had been disrupted this season. The rearranged match is now set for next Wednesday, but Rangers' outspoken reaction has sparked controversy, especially given the game's significance in the Premiership. Jordan, a pundit on TalkSport and former owner of Crystal Palace, challenged Rangers' position, questioning why the fixture wasn't played last week instead. He highlighted that both clubs had declined an SPFL suggestion to hold the game on April 2nd or 3rd, just before the highly anticipated Glasgow derby match. Jordan labelled Rangers' statement as ridiculous, hypocritical and unnecessary, pointing out the irony in Rangers' stance given their own issues, including fan allocations for matches against Celtic. In his conversation with Jim White, Jordan remarked on the irony of Rangers calling out another club for unprofessionalism while facing their own challenges. He suggested that if Rangers had indeed had the chance to play the game earlier and chose not to, their complaints seemed baseless. Jordan also critiqued the state of Scottish Premiership facilities and finances but took issue with Rangers' tone, suggesting it came across as pompous and condescending. It's not a good look for the league to see so many postponements, and while we can understand the frustration from the Ibrox club, their statement did indeed come across as pandering and unhelpful. Away supporters need to be taken into account, but the question has to be asked, why did the game not go ahead last Wednesday when there was a clear opportunity to do so? It affects Celtic. With this game still on the back burner, we're not sure what we're up against going into the run-in. Most believe the Rangers will get the three points from Dundee when the game does go ahead, which would put the Ibrox club ahead. However, until it's played, there's still the possibility they won't. Amid Joe Hart's upcoming retirement, Celtic have inevitably been linked to several goalkeepers. The summer transfer window is not underway for another few months, but that hasn't stopped the wheels of transfer business from turning. Already, Ugar Kunkaki has been named a potential target with the club having expressed their desire to start negotiations over a deal worth £7.5 million. Along with Kakir, Werder Bremen stopper Michael Zetterler has been linked, but the latest name to emerge is that of Tom Glover. According to FTBL, the Hoops are one of several clubs, including Copenhagen, Rangers and Newcastle United, who are chasing the signature of the 26-year-old. Having spent time in the Spurs academy, Glover joined Middlesbrough last summer after regularly turning out for Melbourne City in his homeland. 
The Aussie international has made 20 appearances for the club this season, and although he emerged as Michael Carrick's first choice between the sticks mid-season, a broken finger allowed for Seni Dieng to reclaim the gloves. Glover went to the World Cup in Qatar with his country, but given the fact he only joined Borough last summer, one wonders what the likelihood of a departure in the few months is. Countless keepers will continue to be linked with Celtic until Hart's true replacement is eventually found. Former Celtic striker and now pundit Chris Sutton has urged his old team to make their move for Norwich loanee Adam Ida permanent. The Irishman joined the hoops at the tail end of the winter transfer window. Although many supporters had their reservations about his arrival, he has hit the ground running in Glasgow. For the hoops so far, Ida has made 11 appearances in all competitions, scoring 6 times and registering 2 assists in the process. He averages a goal contribution every 70 minutes in green and white. There is no denying his instant impact, and based on what he has seen of the 23-year-old along the potential fear of a permanent deal, Sutton would extend Ida's stay at Celtic. He said, It wasn't easy when he came in, but he's won over a lot of supporters. There was some talk when he arrived that it would cost around £3 million to get him on a permanent deal, and if that's the figure this summer, it will be an absolute steal. Ida has shown he can bring something different to the attack. Kyogo will always be the main man when fit, but it's important to have a different option in certain games or coming off the bench. When you consider some of the cash spent on strikers at Celtic in recent years, that would be a small change to land a player who still has more development to do and plenty of potential. If Ida does the business in the remainder of the campaign, it would be a crying shame not to buy him. From a mid-season loan sign-in, Ida has done exactly what one would have asked for. He has made an instant impact at Celtic, firing them to some key wins and quickly becoming adorned by the fans. His record in Glasgow so far reads well, and in the eyes of Sutton, if it is kept up, it would be a tragedy if a player like him, who still has a wealth of growth to come, isn't signed up for the long term. Scotland hero John McGinn has named his favourite ever Celtic player. The midfielder has never hidden his love for the hoops, and his idol grown up won't surprise many. With a wand of a left foot, McGinn regularly scores for his country, and much of his inspiration came from cult hero Nakamura. The Japanese midfielder was a magician, regularly scoring goals that defied belief. His ability from dead balls was outstanding. In a recent video on X that previewed Asimila's upcoming tour of Japan, McGinn made his love for Nakamura known. He said, I've always wanted to visit Tokyo, but also Yokohama. As one of my favourite ever Celtic players, Nakamura played for Yokohama Marinos, and I think he only recently retired. Naka, what a player. Number 25, what a guy. Celtic fans, what do you make of what we discussed in today's video? In particular, Simon Jordan's comments about the Rangers game being postponed. Let us know down in the comment section below. Also, give us your score predictions for tomorrow's match. Make sure you do drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel for more Celtic content. Thank you, take care, bye bye.